Well, hello, welcome. We are here on the sanctuary of Roy City First United Methodist Church to uh, celebrate the sacrament of holy baptism. We already had a part of the baptism already filmed that you will see later when we were able to baptize Chris and Caroline and Elise over at uh, the, Dilkins, the, the Gilkinson's pool. And so I just wanted to let you know that so when you see a change of scenery between uh, that we had two different uh, baptismal ceremonies that we celebrated together. And today we are bringing uh, forward uh, Thomas Jackson Bailey, Alexandra Jane Masters, and Evelyn Teresa Masters uh, for baptism here in our sanctuary. So let us go to God as we begin this holy time together. Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the spirit. All of this is God's gift offered to us without price. Through confirmation and through the reaffirmation of our faith, we renew the covenant declared at our baptism, acknowledging what God is doing for us and affirm our commitment to Christ's holy church. I present these candidates for baptism. Thomas Jackson Bailey, Alexandra Jane Masters, Evelyn Teresa Masters, Christopher Lane O'Neill, Caroline Lane O'Neill, and Elise Chang Pollitt. On behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness Reject the evil powers of this world and repent of your sin and say, I do. I do. I do. I do. Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves and then say, I do? I do. I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior? Put your whole trust in his grace and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races, and then say, I do. I do. I do. Okay. I do. Okay. According to the grace given you, will you remain faithful members of Christ's holy church and serve as Christ's representatives in the world and say, I will? I will. Okay. And to the congregation. Do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ and say, we do? We do. We do. We do. We nurture, will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include these persons now before you in your care? God's help, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround these persons with a community of love and forgiveness. That they may grow in their trust to God and be found faithful in their service to others. We will pray for them that they may be true disciples who walk in a way that leads to love. Let us now join together in professing the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. The third day, the third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sit at the right hand of God and to come in to judge the quick and the dead. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Let us pray. Eternal Father, your mighty acts of salvation has been known through water from the moving of your spirit upon the waters of creation to the deliverance of your people through the floods and through the Red Sea. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus nurtured in the water of a womb. You baptized, baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in his baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. 
Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water, and for those who receive it, to wash away their sins and clothe them in righteousness throughout their lives, that dying and being raised with Christ, they may share in his final victory through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thomas Jackson Bailey, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll take a step back here. Hold on to that. Take a step back right here. If y'all would want to place your hands on Jackson. Jackson, the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. And one more thing. I'm going to put on your forehead, okay? Thomas Jackson Bailey, child of God, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own follower. Amen. Amen. All righty. Hey, Christopher Lane O'Neill, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Chris, may the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Chris, child of God, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Caroline Lane O'Neill, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Okay. Caroline, the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hi, right, Caroline, child of God, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Evelyn Teresa Masters, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You want to step back and the whole family can place your hands on Evie. Just a little bit. There we go. Evelyn, the Holy Spirit, work within you. That being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Evie, child of God, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Amen. Alexandra Jane Masters, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, if you want to step back with your family, and you all can place your hands on her. Lexi, the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lexi, child of God, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Amen. Okay. Elise Chang Pollitt, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At least the Holy Spirit work within you, that being born through water and the Spirit, you may be a faithful disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. And at least, child of God, you are sealed by the power of the Holy Spirit in baptism, and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Amen. Members of the household of God, I commend these persons to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. Would you please join me? We give thanks for all that God has already given you, and we welcome you in Christian love. As members together with you in the body of Christ and in this congregation of the United Methodist Church, 
we renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness, that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. I receive this benediction. The God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, establish you and strengthen you, that you may live in grace and peace. Amen. 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 Let's welcome our new brothers and sisters into the faith. Amen.